tonight from Hollywood, two contestants will be playing against each other for the right to win $100,000 on the $100,000 Name That Tune. <laughs> playing the tunes are Stan Worth and the Name That Tune Band. With Monica Burris. <laughs> Dan Sawyer in the sound system. With Steve Martin. And now the star of Name That Tune, Tom Kennedy. Who are tonight's players? All right, Tom. First of all, meet Kathy Shoemaker, the mother of two and former sex education yeah. teacher. Thank you, Kathy. Right over there. And Kathy will be playing against Dave Dickstein, a recent high school hey, graduate hey. who'd like to be a sports journalist. All right. Good to see you there, Dave. You're both here to try to win $100,000. And whoever wins tonight, We'll return to compete in our $100,000 playoffs. More about that a little bit later on right now. Let's get started with Melody Roulette. We will spin the wheels a maximum of uh, five times. And if it happens to land on that spot right there, that means you can not only win $1,000, but also a brand new car. From Dotson, the innovatively new 200SX is here. It's totally new inside and out. The 200SX gives you more style per mile, furnished by Dotson. And Turtle Extra Car Wax, extra easy, extra durable, extra brilliant. Turtle Extra Car Wax in liquid or new soft paint. And we'll protect your money with Bank America Traveler's Check, safe and convenient. Bank America Traveler's Checks are accepted like cash around the world. And remember that car can only be won one time, and the winner of this round will also win 10 points, so let's do it. Let's Listen and name that tune. Five seconds has elapsed. Would you believe Lullaby of Birdland? Here we go with the second spin of the wheel. Let's do it big this time. All right. Here we go. It's up to double up. To 500 hit. Or is it going to be four? It is four. For four hundred dollars, listen and name that tune. Shirley. Shirley, Shirley, for Bernie. Name that tune. The Can, name game. That is it. The name game. You get four hundred dollars. One, two, three, four hundred dollars. And remember, it's the best out of five. We're going to let you catch your breath while we catch ours, and you have this important word. Don't go away. It's McDonald's new Star Trek meal. Food and thrills in a box. Five different boxes, plus five different Star Trek prizes. Now at participating McDonald's. See the first great show of the 80s. Big 15th annual sports vacation and RV show, Anaheim Convention Center, January 5th through 13th. Pelispec's incredible store-wide clearance sale continues with everything in stock slash 10 to 60% off. This brass swing arm, now just $35 at Pelispec's. Tomorrow on AM, the former Wonder Woman, the beautiful Linda Carter, talks about her new singing career. And we'll also be discussing the medicinal powers of the mind with Dr. Arthur Irving Oil. Plus, wedding fashions, sensational wedding fashions from Neiman Marcus and Beverly Hills. Yes, and adopt a pet with Margaret Nesbitt as well. All of that and more tomorrow at 9 here on AM Los Angeles on KABC TV. Some of our contestants will receive a gift of a road atlas from Global, whether you're moving across the country or around the world. Remember Global Van Lines for modern moving with old-fashioned care. Or the amazing Realistic System 7 mini stereo receiver with matching speakers for room-filling high-fidelity sound from Radio Shack. Or polyglycoat, rust-proofing shield gets into seams, cracks, and crevices of your car where rusting begins. Rust-proofing protection available at new car dealers everywhere. Or a certificate for any one of the more than 1,000 Big Boy restaurants nationwide. Big Boy features full table service and a variety of good food you love at a real value. All right, Kathy Shoemaker and Dave Dixie. Kathy so far has one tune. Here we go with the third spin of the wheel on Melody Roulette. Let's see what it's going to do this time. Make it big. Make it big. Hold it on the car. Oh. All right. Is it going to make it to a thousand? Get up there. All right. All right. And 
Let's buy your side for $1,000. Listen and name that tune. I want you. I want name that tune. Me. I need you. No, can oh. you name it? She cannot. It's two out of three. Fourth. Ain't bad. That's what it was. Meatloaf. All right, here we go with the fourth spin of the wheel. Let's do it big now. We need a car or a double. That's the car again. Not up for the double. 500. It's a whole book right there. All right. For $500, listen and name that tune. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Do it together. No, that's not it. Can together. you name it? No, that's not correct. It's together wherever we go. And that, of course, is from Gypsy. We need the complete title. Now, so far, Kathy has one tune, and this is the final spin of Zeveal, okay? Here we go. Let's make it a big one. Double what? Five? Double four, maybe. That's not bad. Hold it on the four. Hold it. Ah, ah that's good. All right. So for not four, but $800, listen and name that tune. La, 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 la. Name that tune. Early in the morning. Early in the morning is correct. That is it. And you get $800. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you win the round, Kathy Shoemaker. Now, the tune. She said early in the morning, and it could also have been down by the station or Alouette or Frere Jacques, and Kathy wins the first round. The first 10 points are yours. And in just a minute, we're going to play a bit of note also worth 10 points. And remember now, whoever wins the night will advance to our $100,000 playoffs. We'll be right back in the meantime. Can you name this tune? La, 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 la. If you teach social studies, treat your students to the TV news game. It's informative and absolutely free. Write us and we'll tell you all about it. Join in a new kind of fun. Join in the Eyewitness News game on Channel 7. You mean you started sculpting after you retired, John? Yeah, after working 35 years as a purchasing agent, Cleet. But why sculpting? Well, I like it. I didn't want to roll over and play dead. Cleet Roberts here is seeing firsthand just how fulfilling the second half of life can be if you just mm. do it. And saving with high interest accounts, like our money market certificate at Glendale Federal, can really help your second half. You'd be surprised what you can do. Do it now at Glendale Federal. My son, Charlie, helps out quite a bit around here. Charlie! Almost finished? He always gives his best for us. So I like to do my best for him. Like making his favorite, Toll House cookies. I don't use imitation chocolate. I use Nestle's real chocolate morsels. Charlie loves the taste of real chocolate, and I like the creaminess of Nestle's. Anything else, Mom? Mm-hmm. You help me eat some Toll House cookies? Nestle's real chocolate morsels. My family's worth it. Friday, one man fights to keep his sanity. There is no phone ringing! In a world gone mad, Charlton Heston is the Omega Man. Oh my God, it's almost dark. They'll be waking up soon. He's the only survivor. You are discarded. You are the refuse of the past. Of a biological nightmare. Anthony Zerbe leads the mutants. Outnumbered hundreds to one. Creatures who must destroy the Omega Man. Friday's 3.30 movie on Channel 7. Sister Sled, sung for it by Monica and Steve. Kathy Shoemaker from San Juan Capistrano. Yes. And she's a full-time wife and mother now. What did you do before that, Kathy? Uh, I was a school teacher, and I taught consumer education and sex education. Did you now? Yes. Well, 
Was your husband one of your pupils? Uh, no, no. He wasn't. No. How'd you meet him? Uh, we met while we were in college together. Whom do you have in the audience, Kathy? Uh, tonight I have my husband, Steve. Hi, Steve. And my friend Janine, and her mother, Joe, my good friend, uh -huh. and her other daughter, Corinne. Very good. And how many children do you have, Kathy? Uh, I have two children. I have a little girl, Stephanie, who is two and a half, and I have a little boy who's six months old. Oh, what a great family. And Dave Dixon, is an, he just graduated from high school, isn't that correct? Yes. And you were an honor student, and you were all, you're also very interested in sports, is that right? I love sports. I was, you do? I was on a tennis team, and I was sports editor for the school paper. Well, good for you. That's great. What are you going to do now? Well, right now? Well, I, I mean, from here around. on out, Dave. <laughs> um, After tonight. I will uh, be worrying about Long Beach State. I'll be Long Beach State. The communication major. Communications. Mm -hmm. All right. Whom do you have in the audience? I have my mom, Judy, and my dad, Irwin. All right, Judy and Irwin, will you? <laughs> Dave, they tell me that you have a very unusual type hobby. <laughs> what kind of a hobby would that be? Well, I collect business cards. Do you now? Yes, and I have over 19,000 different cards, and uh, I'll be trying to get in the Guinness Book World Records. How many so far? Uh, about ni over 19,000. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Very unusual. Good luck to you on you that. Go. All right. You now, the score so far is 10 points for Kathy, 10 to nothing. Now it's time to play Bit of Note, which is also worth 10 points. And here comes Jerry Fiala with our clues for this particular round. And I thank you once again, Jerry. All right. Now I'm going to read to you clues from these six, and then I want you to bid against each other as to how few notes it will take you to name that tune. The first to score three wins 10 points and a great prize, some great prizes. And uh, Kathy, since you won the last round, you get the first pick of the clue. What's I'll, your pleasure? I'll take number three. Here we go, number three. Uh, the British Beatles incorporated an unusual instrument in this tune whose title seems to speak of a Scandinavian substance. Kathy, start the bidding. I can name that tune in five notes. I can name that tune in one note. Well, Dave, all right. That obviously is the lowest possible bid, so here's the repeat of your clue. The British Beatles incorporated an unusual instrument in this tune whose title seems to speak of a Scandinavian substance. Here is your one note. Name that tune. Norwegian Wood. You got it. Could we hear it, Steve Mutt? I once had a girl, what should I say? She once had me. Norwegian Wood. And, of course, the instrument was the sitar. Dave Dixon gets the first tune. Dave, the next clue is yours. Which one? I like number one, please. You like number one? We'll give it to you, Dave. Here it is. When Leonard Bernstein collaborated on his first musical, a show with a distinctly urban setting, this rousing tune impressed countless showgoers. Dave, start the bidding. I can name that tune in seven notes, Kelly. I can name that tune in five notes. Uh, okay, then. Name that tune. All right. Far cry from one this time. When Leonard Bernstein collaborated on his first musical, a show with a distinctly urban setting, this rousing tune impressed countless showgoers. Here are your five notes. <laughs> Dave, you get it automatically. Could we hear it, Monica Burris? New York, New York. New York from the musical On the Town. Dave Dickstein has two tunes so far. Three tunes win the round. Kathy, which clue next? Uh, six. Number six. You need this one, Kathy, to stay in the round. A pianist and composer of French-Polish heritage supply the original composition upon which this popular tune is based. A singing barber of Italian-American heritage made it a million-selling hit. Kathy, start the bidding. Uh, I can name that tune in five notes. Name that tune. Oh. All right. And okay. if you get it, you're still on the round. If you don't get it, Dave wins the round. Okay. A pianist and composer of French-Polish heritage supplied the original composition upon which this popular tune is based. A singing barber of Italian-American heritage made it a million-selling hit. And I'll hear your five notes. Till the end of time. That is it. Could we hear it? Stand work. <laughs> Showpan Polonaise.